Mini GPT-4 is one of the craziest models that has got released in the recent time. And it is an open source model. It has nothing to do with GPT-4 at all, but it is a model that is multimodal where you can send an image and then chat with the model. I would like to quickly show you the demo and then we'll start learning about what this model does, what it cannot do well. So first thing is a quick demo that the team has put together on YouTube. So you can upload a picture and then say that we design new mug shown in the image. Can you please help us write an advertisement? So it understands this quite well, reads this image and based on that image, it actually creates something for you. And then you can also upload an image and then ask it to write food recipes for you and it can generate food recipes for you. It's quite an impressive piece of technology and then that is possible because of a bunch of researchers who did not just release the paper, but also release the model weights. Thank you so much to the group of researchers. It's called Mini GPT-4, Enhancing Vision Language Understanding with advanced large language models. If you know how they've done it, it is quite mind blowing the approach that they've taken. The way they have done is they have taken two different models. There is blip two model that can actually translate or read what is there on an image and then translate it into the text. So this is an image captioning model. You upload an image, it can tell you what is in that image. That's blip two model. And then on the other side, you have got Vicuna. Vicuna is a large language model. That's almost like, you know, your chat GPT alternative. What they've done is they've tried to combine these two models. And as you can see here, the image goes to this, this uh, wit plus Q former, uh, technically it's a blip to, I guess. And then there is Vicuna model and they have used a linear layer lead, just a simple projection layer to take content from this model, which is blip to, and then project it, send it to Vicuna. And then that is going to give you the final text. For example, if you upload this logo or something, you can ask a question. What do you think of this logo design? And now it goes to Vikuna. Then Vikuna says, oh, the logo design is simple and minimalistic with a pink line drawing. And then it gives you all this information. And you can see how beautifully this is architecture like structured. So that makes it like quite an interesting model uh, because it's not like completely, um, like completely mind blowing research driven new model, but it is a very clever way of using two different models that can go hand in hand and then create a multimodal interface for you. So the model demos are available for you to play with. Like you can go here and then play with the model demo. And because it's quite popular and viral, they have also given you alternative model demos. You can go check. Also the model is available. Model demo is available on hugging face model hub, hugging face spaces. So you can go here first mini GPT and then see the, the model page. You can see here, if you click files and versions, you can actually see the weights. So they've also released the model where it's a pre-trained mini GPT for you. And you can see the kind of examples that they've given. So you can go see, ask it to give you like, for example, uh, upload the mug and then ask it to give you an advertisement. It can do upload a picture and then ask you to design a website. If you have seen the GPT four live demo, the CEO or a CEO co-founder Greg GDB. Um, so he actually uploaded a picture and then asked GPT four to design a website that like blew everybody's mind and you can do that with an open source model which is quite unbelievable but also i'm so glad that this model exists you can just upload this picture and then say write brief html javascript to turn this into a mock-up with into a colorful website where the jokes are replaced by a real joke you actually got an html javascript code which you can use it and uh, I, i'm not sure like i'm not sure the sanity of the code in itself but you know the fact that it gets it can work until this level is quite amazing you can upload a picture and ask it to write an advertisement and all the other examples that we have seen uh, it works quite really well um, for the demos that i've seen what i have done is i don't believe in anything until i actually try out myself so what i did is i went to one of the demo pages that they have got and uh, I try to upload a picture. So I try to upload a picture. So this, if you do not know, this is my uh, last video where uh, I used chat GPT to play chess. It was quite mind blowing for me. So I uploaded the thumbnail of that. And then I asked it, describe the picture for me. Okay, so it says the image shows a woman playing chess on a damaged chess board because I've, I've added this crack in the thumbnail. She's wearing a red t-shirt. Uh, I don't think there is any red t-shirt and has a long curly hair. I, I'm not sure if this is curly hair, but that's fine. The board has several broken pieces and the pieces are scattered around the board. Uh, honestly speaking, the pieces are not scattered around the board, but that's completely fine. The woman is looking at the board with a determined expression on her face. That's quite good. Like it, it defines, it didn't say anything about chat GPT logo. Um, that's completely fine. So then I said, can you write a poem about this? I think one of the things that I felt ChatGPT does really good is that ChatGPT is really good at creative task. 
even though you have got a lot of alternatives for chat gpt you can ask it like a historical question it can answer back you can ask it quiz but i have not seen like a good large language model that can do creative tasks well that can do programming well it looks like vikuna can do it i cannot feel bad that i have not still covered vikuna so this is giving me motivation to make a separate video on vikuna so if you have not subscribed please subscribe so you will see a video about vikuna but the poem is really good it says a broken chessboard lies before her a game of strategy and skill but she doesn't falter her focus firm and will and she studies each piece each move she must make with the determination in her eyes she plays on unafraid so it's it's really good i read the entire poem i really felt good about the poem so full po points first of all for the open source team to actually release the model weights they have released how you can build it yourself they have released the demo on hugging face more uh, spaces and they have also released the basically entire detail so you can click the code and then go to their github repository and then see mini gpt4 and then you can see all the information that you want there and it also gives you a brief introduction okay mini gpt4 aligns a frozen visual encoder from blip2 with a frozen llm vikuna using just one projection layer so we train mini gpt with two stages and you can see the details i don't think at this point the code works on free version of google collab like i've been trying for the same thing um so you need you need like larger gpu at this point like if you want to run it on local but if you want to run it on local you can follow this instruction and get get this done uh, on your local machine one catch here is that i don't think you can use this model for commercial purpose because as you know that it uses vikuna which means vikuna does not let you use the model for commercial purposes so i don't think you can use this for commercial purposes but i think if you just want to use it for research purposes but also it's a great idea right like for example even if you are not going to use this model we know for sure that a lot of people a lot of researchers are going to use this model for example instead of using blip2 you can literally use gpt4 all j uh, i'm sorry like instead of using vikuna you can use gpt4 all j which is um, trained on top of gpt j which is with with permissive license so somebody might easily reproduce this entire result uh, given the enough computation for um, like that with permissive license which might enable you to do use it for commercial purposes as well so this is all well and good like i said all the required links will be in the youtube description the model page the github repository the hugging face demo like you can see another demo i uploaded the picture it says this is a diagram showing different levels of taxes in the society pyramid has the the pyramid has three levels the wealthy class the middle class and the poor class i think it does a really good job in explaining and you can also chat with that like it's 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 a really good thing so before i finish the video i would like to call out one important thing that i noticed uh, this is something that i noticed that the part of people who put together this model uh, so are actually you know in the job market so let me show you that quickly soon so that if you have any opportunities you should definitely reach out to them because they have literally built an amazing open source gpt4 like multi model so you can see they they are in the job market and they are in the job market so if you have any opportunities for them please definitely reach out to them otherwise at least go ahead and then star the repository it would mean a lot to the developers so thank you so much for this entire team from king abdullah university of science and technology uh, they have uh, they have actually you know lived up to the expectation of how to release a model like they've released the model weights they've released the model training details they've released the data set i think they've released the demo they've released a video demo they've literally done everything to make sure that we can access this model without any hassle thank you so much this is mini gpt4 let me know in the comments if you tried it out and if you found any interesting result see you in another video